whether you train for aesthetics, strength, functional performance, or injury and pain prevention, building strong and muscular glutes should be a focal point of your training. Being part of the complex hip musculature, it's crucial for optimal movement. The problem, however, is that most programs don't put enough of an emphasis on glute training. And while heavy barbell movements like squats and deadlifts are great for building bigger and stronger glutes, they're not actually necessary. In fact, a simple bench and some dumbbells is more than enough to put a little hump on that rump. So, if you're limited on time or equipment or just looking to mix things up a bit, then listen up because I'm going to share the only three dumbbell glute exercises you need for bigger and stronger glutes. But first, let's briefly go over the basic anatomy of the gluteal muscles and their functions. The glutes are made up of three muscles, the gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus. These three heads work together to perform hip extension, hip abduction, external rotation, and posterior pelvic tilt. So, whenever we perform any of these movements, all three heads are involved to some degree, thus there is no real way to isolate one head over the other. Now that we understand what muscles we're targeting and the functions they're responsible for, let's go over the only three dumbbell glutes exercises you need. Exercise number one, dumbbell hip thrust. Traditionally performed with a barbell, the dumbbell hip thrust offers a convenient and equally effective alternative. In one 2015 study published in the Journal of Applied Biomechanics, the hip thrust elicited twice as much gluteus maximus activation as the back squat. Another more recent study published in the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine found that the hip thrust favors greater activation of the glutes compared to more conventional exercises. And this 2018 study found that while the barbell deadlift was superior in activating the hamstrings, the hip thrust still provided the highest gluteus maximus activation. Looking at this graph, which summarizes four studies, not only is a hip thrust best for targeting the glutes due to leverage, but also because among its three functions, you can see that hip extension produces almost maximum activation of the muscle. This means that hip thrust not only primarily, but almost entirely work the glutes. And if you want to emphasize the glutes further, this study from the Journal of Physical Therapy Science shows that gluteus maximus activation is higher the more your knees are bent. A possible reason for this is that the hamstrings suffer from active insufficiency so they cannot contribute much to hip extension when in a shortened position. By the same principle, having more extension in your knees during hip thrust would reduce reduce glute activation and increase hamstring involvement. This is why hip thrust with bent knees is recommended in many physical therapy journals to improve activation and function of the glutes. So, to maximize glute activation, perform your hip thrust with your shins vertical. Exercise number two, dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. Looking at this graph, we can see that at 90 degrees of hip extension, where the glutes are lengthened, they're still activated to a high degree. According to this study, comparing RDLs, step RDLs, and stiff-legged deadlifts, doing Romanian deadlifts with a deficit, increased involvement of the posterior chain muscles. The gluteus maximus in particular showed the highest activation in the step RDL than the other two. This is due to the greater range of motion specifically in the hips. And since dumbbells are smaller in size compared to 45 pound plates, you can achieve the same results without stepping on a box. To perform this exercise effectively, stand with your feet hip width apart, holding a dumbbell in each hand. Hinge forward at the hips, keeping your back straight and your core tight until you feel a stretch in your hamstrings and glutes. 
From there, think about contracting your glutes and hamstrings to pull yourself back up to a standing position. And if you want to emphasize the glutes a bit further, one 2017 study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that when the abdominals are deliberately activated during hip extension actions, this increases gluteus maximus muscle activation. This is because of the enhanced ability provided by bracing the core. This increased stability can positively influence the muscles working at the hip joint. And exercise number three, Bulgarian split squats. While the split squat is a favorite for building the quads, there are slight adjustments you can make to emphasize the glutes instead. But first, let us go over proper execution of this exercise. Stand in a split stance with your foot forward and the other foot resting on a bench or elevated surface behind you. Load the movement unilaterally or bilaterally and allow your arms to hang by your side. Sides. Lower your body by bending your front knee while keeping your spine stiff and core engaged. Then push through your front foot to return to the starting position. To place more emphasis on the glutes, there are three cues I recommend. First, lean your torso forward instead of keeping your torso upright. By focusing on leaning forward, the hips become more involved. Second, studies show that the deeper you squat, the more active your glutes become during the movement. And third, consciously contracting the glutes, also known as a mind-muscle connection, leads to more glute activation. So, lean forward to involve the hips a bit more, squat as deep as you can before experiencing discomfort, and focus on squeezing your glutes with each rep. And while the traditional split squat is a great lower body builder, these three simple cues are a great way to make this popular quad exercise more glute dominant. So there you have it, the only three dumbbell glute exercises you need for bigger, rounder, and stronger glutes. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.